Well, this is uh, my uh, setup <coughs> for uh, my WinMax one kilowatt wind generator. Uh, I built this board out of components uh, that I ordered, uh, mostly through eBay, and uh, uh, decided not to use the original charge controller that came with the system because in my area, the average wind uh, speed uh, is around 12 miles an hour. And this generator uh, came with a charge controller that is for 24 volts. Uh, usually you have to get a pretty good wind to get it to charge a bank of batteries at 24 volts. As you can see right now, it's dumping a load. So it is a quite good system uh, set up for 24 volts. What I did is I just uh, used a bridge rectifier over here that converts the uh, raw uh, AC voltage uh, three phase coming out of the uh, windmill and it takes it down to uh, DC voltage goes through a diode uh, to prevent uh, any back feed goes through a 30 amp breaker as you can see I have an ammeter uh, hooked up uh, and a voltmeter and it's showing right now it's you know going, getting up to 14 volts uh, and uh, what I did is I ordered a uh, <coughs> charge controller from Coleman Air that goes up to 80 amps. So in theory, if this uh, windmill was to uh, have uh, gusts of wind hit it and put out its full potential of one kilowatt, uh, the 80 amp that it would put out at 12 volts would be equal to what the capacitor of that Coleman Air is. So, I do have a second windmill that I bought from uh, WinMax because I'm so happy with the setup uh, and I can't really use the power fast enough. As you can see, it's draining right now uh, because uh, we're having a wind of maybe about 15 uh, miles an hour or so and it's overcharging the batteries. Of course, right now I don't have much of a load on it other than a freezer, uh, but as you can see, I have it set up so uh, eventually, when I get the second generator up, these two uh, inverters uh, are grid tie inverters, but they require 24 volts. So, uh, what I'm going to do is have another charge controller uh, of 12 volts for, and another bridge rectifier assembly uh, for the system that will go into a much larger set of batteries. This is just for tests right now. I have these two batteries in uh, parallel, so I keep 12 volts. Uh, and the amperage of those batteries are 250 uh, reserve amps in each one. So I have a total of 500 reserve amps uh, capacity here at 12 volts. The theory, <coughs> the theory of what I want to do is essentially put a, a bank of about 20 of these batteries together um, and actually they'll be split into two 12 volts bank. One uh, windmill will go to one bank, the other windmill will go to the other bank and then that will go to the grid tie inverters that uh, I'll set up. Uh, right now I have two 250 watts, so that'll give me about uh, close to 500 watts, probably more like 400 watts. Uh, but I like to get it up to one kilowatt uh, and then uh, have the capacity to continuously supply that or at least when we have enough wind. What I did here is I set up, as you can see, it's still dumping a load. Uh, so we're having a good wind event. The voltage is about 15 volts. The amperage seems to be around 10 amps or so uh, thereabouts. It's kind of hard to tell right now uh, because I don't have good light in here. But uh, the, uh, I have these two resistors uh, in parallel uh, that get quite hot. And these are my dump loads right now. Of course, I could use the dump loads that came with the original WinMax system, which are actually excellent uh, for the charge controller. So um, I'll be able to use that. Uh, if I need to, once I have the second generator, which I, which I will need to, and be able to provide sufficient dump capacity for both of them. I have a disconnect switch here that disconnects the, the power from the turbine. And then another one here that disconnects the power uh, from uh, the charge controller out to the batteries. Uh, this is a temporary board. This is going to get built up. So I will have uh, yet another uh, disconnect, which is a much uh, higher amperage one. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. This is a uh, 500, volt, uh, 500 amp uh, DC disconnect, and that will disconnect the cables that go from the batteries 
to the um, inverter that I have, which uh, actually this is not the uh, my main one. I have a, a uh, this is a 1200 watt that I got from a hardware fry, but it's a uh, not pure sine wave. It's a modified sine wave. Uh, I do have a 2000 watt uh, a pure sine wave that I had to send for repair, and it, it we should be coming back soon. So that's the main system that I'm going to use uh, to power things that I need here. Uh, until I transition fully to the grid tie systems uh, that you see here. Quite a nice setup uh, as far as the uh, Winmax generator goes. I'm very happy with it. I wish uh, uh, you know, more people knew about uh, their systems because they really, uh, I did a, s a good search on the internet for uh, quite a bit of time and I tried uh, all different uh, kinds that uh, you can get from eBay. They're all junk essentially. You really need to get something that's well made uh, and uh, I will go outside uh, probably here in a little while and we'll show you what the uh, turbine really looks like so you can uh, have a good look at it but as you can see uh, it charges quite well even after the dump uh, comes into play and brings the voltage down uh, you know in a 15 mile an hour 15 mile an hour wind this is quite enough to uh, really get the voltage back in there again and uh, start using it up so uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, you all take care and I will update this video as soon as I have the second system online, the second generator, which will probably go up this weekend. And I'll, then this will be mounted on a much bigger board. It will have uh, more gauges uh, so I can tie both uh, systems together and it will be laid out much, uh, much cleaner. Right now this is just a test to see if it was feasible in my area to really use wind uh, as needed and surely, surely it does quite well. Thanks a bunch and take care.